Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. Answering the question, what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self to ultimately create the life that you desire and deserve? As I do in all of my readings, I pulled the overall energy and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading, which we'll jump into in just a second. But I still have the tarot deck I'll be using, the clarification deck, and the advice deck that I'll be using to close out the reading in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate full for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do please rem remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and jump in. In your recent past, you have release blocks with the eight of cups in reverse. Um, this past energy is pretty tough. I feel like this is an energy of feeling a little bit lost, um, you know, maybe even kind of getting into the realm of feeling a little bit hopeless. Uh, the release blocks energy is f usually pops up when we're dealing with kind of like a subconscious release of some sort. So going through kind of a, an emotional time, working through behaviors, patterns, um, you know, letting go of situations that have been holding us back or that we realize aren't good for us. So I feel like this could be many different things depending on your personal situation, but I do feel like this was a very challenging time of feeling a little bit lost, maybe a little bit hopeless. However, I feel like the overall um, energy of this reading, like the overall just kind of vibe is actually very positive. Um, in your current energy, you have a do nothing with the three of wands. So right now is a time to not have all of the answers. You're not supposed to have all of the answers right now. You're not supposed to have it all figured out. Um, you know, the three of wands is kind of like waiting um, for those next steps, waiting for um maybe an answer or a path to open up or something. And I feel like right now is a period where you are really supposed to give it over and to trust that it's being taken care of. Um, you know, I think that there's, it's hard because we don't want to wait forever, right? We don't want to always just be waiting on the universe to provide us with what it is that we're, we're looking for. A lot of times we do need to make sure that we're taking action. But if you can genuinely say like you are showing up in the best way that you know how, um, and you're waiting for the universe to kind of do its part. I feel like right now is this confirmation of like it is happening. Um, answers are always revealed to us within time, within divine time. And I feel like as you move forward, um, it's, it's almost like a new path starts to open up. But the universe is like, it's almost like constructing things in the background to open up this path for you. So it's like the path isn't ready yet, which is why you're kind of in this waiting period. Now in your immediate future, you have courage with the two of swords. So um, in your immediate future, this does kind of feel like redirection and redirection toward something very, very positive. The overall theme of the reading is culmination of vision. This is very much like a long time coming things, um, finally half happening after a period of feeling like they never would. Um, and I think that that energy is kind of part of this whole process that you've been on. You know, when you are experiencing lack or or loss or not being where you want to be, that is merely an indication that you are still in the middle of a journey. Never, it's never a destination. So I feel like that's what this is about. It's like, this has been a long journey. It's probably been a pretty treacherous journey, but the journey will be worth it in the end. Now, um, this courage card is definitely an indication that it this redirection will require you to kind of step into a new level of belief in yourself, in the universe, um, in your path. And that can be very challenging, but the more that you step into a new level of belief, and since our reality is a reflection of our beliefs, the more your reality will start to progress alongside um, you. So I do feel like this is, like I said, a very positive overall message. I don't know for some of you, I feel like you've been struggling or have been in kind of a period of struggle for a while, maybe feeling a little bit in the dark, feeling like you have no idea when things are going to work out, how they're going to work out. And I can tell you like I, if being in those periods myself, I know how hard it is to hear this because I heard it 
a million times over when I was going through one of the worst times of my life. It was like, just trust the outcome, trust the process, trust that everything's going to be okay. And it's so hard to do when you're in it. But the more that you lean into that faith, the more you lean into that trust, the easier it is to kind of navigate that experience. And and I can assure you that, you know, the more you lean on faith over fear, the more that things end up working out better than you can even imagine in the end. All right, but that's just overall energy. So let's dive in a little bit here. This is past energy for Capricorn. You have release blocks with the eight of cups in reverse. Past energy for Capricorn, please. There you are. Forced into surrender. That's interesting. Um, King of Pentacles, Hangman, and then you have the Four of Wands here. So here's your vision. It's this idea that you have for your life. I want to be happy and healthy and fulfilled and in a relationship with the perfect person for me. And I want to feel safe and secure and supported and valued and all of the things that you deserve. And I feel like in the past, or maybe even with where you're at currently, it feels like no matter how hard you try, that always seems very out of reach. It always seems as if it is something that um, is exists in your future. And I feel like that is a lot. Usually whenever whatever we desire always feels out of reach, it's typically because we're trying to force it in things that aren't capable of being what it is that we desire. So sometimes we'll settle or try to force relationships or career paths um, and the universe will never let you settle where you are not supposed to settle. So if things are not supposed to work out or things haven't worked out, like they, it's not the universe saying you can't have these things that you desire. It's the universe saying, um, there is like a different way, a different path. Um, but I feel like that was kind of what happened in this past energy was it was like what you were doing or a path you were taking or a relationship you were in something like wasn't working and you were kind of pushed to this energy of like, I can, you know, letting go, surrendering, giving over the wheel. And that can be really hard, but there's so much freedom that comes with learning to do that. And believing that things are going to work out for you. I mean, that truly letting go and surrendering is like getting to that point where you're capable of doing that is like the pinnacle of a spiritual path when you're really able to do that with um, with confidence and saying, I know the universe has got me. I know that, you know, even if things haven't worked out, that they're going to work out for me. It really provides you with a sense of peace that no matter like what's going on around you and what things look like, you can know, okay, I might not have any idea what's happening, but I know that I'm supported by something bigger than me. And I feel like that's what this period of your life is really about is kind of tapping in. Right? Remember I said stepping into a new level of belief um, and it's belief about how supported you really are um, like spiritually by something bigger than you. Okay. Past energy for Capricorn here. There you are again as the Queen of Pentacles. And then you have the Four of Cups in reverse. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Because we all have masculine and feminine energy. Um... Discontent, discontent, um, always discontent. Now, okay, always discontent. This is this energy of like nothing being what you thought it was going to be. Like maybe you had a certain path in mind or a certain... Like you, you had certain expectations and you were like, like, this is, this is going to be good. Like, this is how this, you know, this is going to turn out like this is, but then like when you got there, it's like, it, it always felt, it was always, you were always discontent. And it's not coming from a place of like, I don't feel like this is like a, 
you lack gratitude or I mean we could always use more gratitude but I don't feel like this is like a you being like selfish and spoiled I feel like this is coming from this place of why can't I be happy why can't I have the relationship work work out it, it's like there's always it's like just that the outcome never seen and this is your past energy but this outcome the outcome never seemed to be what you had hoped it would be and that can be so disheartening when you feel like you know when you you try to keep your hopes up and you try to keep the faith and you try to you know put your you know put your trust in in the outcome and then the outcome just consistently lets you down so I feel like this has been a pattern for you of like this is it like things are gonna work out this time and then like okay like, like back to where we started or um oh I was wrong again um and that you know can make anybody lose the faith because you're going to go, why would I have faith? Because every single time I have faith, it doesn't work out. Um, and I get those comments a lot. You know, it's been this many years or I've been dealing with this for this long and, and nothing ever works out for me. So why would I ever believe that things are going to work out for me? Um, and I get that. Like, I absolutely 100% get that. But if there's anything that I have learned, um, it truly is that our life is a reflection of the belief that we consistently show up in. So if we are consistently showing up um, in the belief of, okay, this is happening for the, you know, for the greater good, I've got to lean into the lessons, try to understand why this is happening, try to understand what this is, how this is pushing me to grow, what this push was pushing it to teach me so that I can believe that things are working out for me in the end. Because again, if you are not where you want to be, it is not a destination. It is an indication that you're in the middle of a journey. But sometimes we have a tendency of looking at where we're at as this is it, like things will never be better than this. And we get stuck there. We get stuck in that energy of nothing can ever be better than this. Um, and I've seen it happen so many times and it's so, I've been in it too. So no judgment, no blaming, like I get it. It's, it can happen to anyone. Um, but this is where kind of breaking out of that idea that like you're destined to experience lack and loss um, is, is important because you have this culmination of vision, right? This is like whatever you desire for your life, this vision you have for your life, like it is absolutely possible. You have the ability to create it. Um, so this is kind of this indication. And a lot of people ask, well, why do we look at past energy if we're not supposed to be caught up in the past? I think, you know, it's really important to understand our past and to understand that no matter what we've been through, that has no indication of where we're going or what can happen to us. So even if you've experienced failed relationship after failed relationship, even if you've experienced financial struggle after financial struggle, if even if you've experienced dead end after dead end, that is not an indication that that is how your life is going to continue to be. There's some something there that needs to be addressed so that you can get off that, um, out of that cycle, off that kind of like spinning wheel of just like, no matter how hard I try, nothing works out. So uh, there's a message of hope here of saying like, I understand why you feel the way you do, but that doesn't mean that things can't still work out for you. Past energy for Capricorn. Ten of Wands, and then there's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is blessing in disguise. Blessing in disguise kind of energy. Um, you're carrying, you've been carrying a lot, Capricorn, for a long time. Um, a lot of disappointment, a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, a lot of frustration, a lot of, um, there's a lot. And, the universe wants you to know that everything that you've experienced, whether or not you realize it to this point, um, is trying to help you in some way. You know, I look back at some of the worst times of my life and I think back to how I felt in those periods and how I felt like I was never going to make it out of those periods and how I was never going to ever be okay again. Um, and some of the worst things that had ever happened to me or that I ever had to experience, I look back at now and I'm able to, to, to truly say like those experiences turned me in to the person I am today. And I'm very proud of um, the person I am today. And I'm very grateful for the life I get to live because of the person I am today. Um, you know, if you can't, if you're on a healing journey and you're trying to become someone you want to be and step into the life you want to live, you cannot hate the experiences that shaped you. You can understand that you were never deserving of them and that those experiences that you've, you've always um, been deserving of more and you were deserving then, you're deserving now, but you also can understand that every single experience is trying to help push you to grow, to evolve, to learn, to love yourself a little bit more. 
um, to give yourself grace in some way, shape or form, because however our past experiences shape us, you know, we can either become a product of them, meaning that we can allow the hurt to bury ourselves in the hurt and the pain and the, and the suffering and the frustration, and the disappointment, or we can transmute it and we can say, yeah, these things sucked, but this, I can make, I can make something good out of this. You know, I can grow, I can heal, I can evolve, I can push past this. I'm stronger because of it. I, I can love harder because of it. I'm more, I understand that I'm more capable now than I ever was because of these things. Um, so I feel like there's, the universe is saying, don't look at your past as this is how your life has to be. Like no matter how long you've been in this cycle, um, even if you've been in this cycle for lifetimes, like this is not an indication of where you can go. And that's where I feel like this is, is this reading is kind of taking you. So in your current energy, you have do nothing with the three of wands. I think that do nothing card is really funny because it's like, what do I do? Nothing. And sometimes, seriously, like when you're looking for the answers or trying to understand the path, like a lot of times it is, it really is just like, let go. Just let the universe do its thing. And again, I do feel like the universe is kind of like doing things in the background, like kind of lining things up for you. And this is very much a waiting period. Current energy for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about where they are currently? High Priestess. Ace of Cups, Five of Cups. There's a lot of disappointment in your current energy. A lot of disappointment. Um, and again, I feel like this goes back to this Four of Cups in reverse. Like, it just feels like, like, it kind of feels like you can't catch a break. Like, that's what this feels like. like you just can't freaking catch a break right now, Capricorn. Um, and that's valid. It's a valid feeling. Okay, I'm not saying you shouldn't feel that way or like, you know, I think that it's important to always maintain an optimistic, positive, faith driven mindset. But I think at the same time, you have to do that while also being like, yeah, this sucks. Like, this is not what I wanted. Um, I think that this disappointment will, from what I can like just kind of see how things are unfolding here, I feel like you will not be disappointed when you get to where you're going. You might be disappointed now with how things have been, but you are not going to be disappointed in how things turn out. And I think that that might take time. But again, I feel like there's so much going on behind the scenes here that you're unaware of. That you're unaware of. And this high priestess is kind of this energy of, you know, tuning into intuition over emotion. Feel how you need to feel, but understand that you cannot believe everything you feel. You know, we can be disappointed in how things are, but don't let that trick you into believing that you're going to feel that way forever. Or that's, that's as good as things will ever get for you. Um, you know, we cannot look back on our past and say, I was happier then or I would have been happier if X, Y, Z. Because sometimes, you know, things don't work out like they're, things don't work out like we wanted them to so they can work out better than we thought they ever could be. So I feel like that's very much what this is about. Like you won't be disappointed when you do get to where you're going. Um, right now it's not about having the answers though. So don't worry about how to move forward. I feel like right now is a time for kind of just processing, allowing yourself to experience all there is that this moment has to provide, but also at the same time knowing that like it does get better. And like better than better, I feel like. All right, current energy for Capricorn. Ooh, lots of self-doubt, lacking faith. I get it. I, oof, I get why you're lacking faith right now. And it's so hard, like, because I, obviously I want to sit here and I want to say keep the faith, keep your head up, like, trust the process. But, like, again, I remember being in that place of just, like, nothing's working out no matter how hard I try. Nothing does work out. The universe just keeps screwing me over. I can't catch a break. And, and just hearing like, keep the faith is like, ugh. like you just want to like sit there and shake someone and be like, shut up. Because I know and, and that I'm going to be the person you want to sit here and shake because seriously, like keep the faith. <laughs> um, but I want you to know that I also understand how hard it is to do that when things are just like absolutely not going according to plan. I do feel like there's more to why things aren't working out or it didn't work out the way that you expected that will come out later. Like, I feel like, you know, it's kind of that, uh, 
uh, hindsight's twenty twenty kind of thing. Like sometimes we have to like process through what hasn't worked and what isn't working. And then we kind of are like, oh yeah, like, man, I'm actually really glad that didn't work now that I can see things clearly. Um, you know, some of God's, some of the universe's greatest gifts really are unanswered prayers. And sometimes the way that thing, we thought things needed to work out or that we've, you know, the time frame, like I should be here now or things should be better by now or I'm behind or whatever the case is, like don't get caught up in how you think things should be. One of my favorite quotes is, um, I say one of my favorite quotes and I think I have like 10 of them. So if you hear me say that a lot, I promise these are my favorite quotes, but uh, it's peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is rather than as you think it should be. We get so caught up in how we think things should be that we don't see that like maybe there is a bigger picture. Um, you know, maybe there's more to it than we think. I don't know why I just shuffled, but current <laughs> energy for Capricorn. You know, I think that one of the most beautiful things of being about being a human is having the courage to not give up. I really do. I think that that is like the coolest thing about being a human being is that you can keep believing and, you know, keep trusting that there's more out there. Keep believing that there are good people even after you've been hurt. Keep believing that you can have good experiences even after you've experienced bad experience after bad experience. Like, I just want to like... It, it seriously is one of my favorite things about being a human is that you always have the choice to keep believing. And I feel like that's what this kind of like courage and two of swords is about is like, you know, I think that the people who go through so freaking much, who experience just like heartbreak and trauma and just like feeling that the universe is just kicking them while they're down, but keep showing up and keep believing and keep, you know, pushing forward one foot in front of the other. Like, I think that those are the strongest freaking people out there. And I think that the universe rewards people who keep going, who keep showing up and he, who keep choosing to believe and have faith even when so much has gone wrong. Um, and I feel like that's a lot about this, this, what this reading is. All right. What does Capricorn need to know about their current energy? And that's what this is talking about. There you are again, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Um, the Knight of Wands to me is like leap of faith. And, and I kind of get this. Yeah, there's the Three of Wands. I kind of get this like, it's not even necessarily that I feel like you're supposed to do anything right now, right? I feel like this isn't about, well, oh, I'm supposed to take a leap of faith. Like this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. This is about like, like not giving up. Like that, and that sounds so ridiculously cheesy but this is about not giving up on yourself if you've experienced heartbreak and a failed relationship don't give up on your ability to experience the love that you deserve if you've experienced financial struggles and you just feel like you can't get out of them don't stop believing that you can experience the abundance and financial security that you deserve like whatever you have been through do not stop believing in the good that does and can exist in your future and in your life um like seriously don't don't stop believing and I think that if you can do that, and, and it, gosh, I, I, I literally hear how it sounds and it sounds so cheesy, but if you can do that and you can keep showing up for the life that you, um, you desire, it's going to happen. Culmination of vision. Um, you know, I think that right now you might be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what the answer is. Like right now is not about having the answer. It's about like not giving up. Like sometimes that's all we can do is just not give up. Like sometimes that's not about doing the right thing. Sometimes that's not about working harder. Sometimes it's not about, you know, um, having like making all of the right choices. Sometimes it really is just like, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your path. Don't give up on your journey. Don't give up on the universe. Don't give up on all of the good that you can absolutely experience. And that is going to take courage and it's going to take faith and it's going to be freaking hard. Um, but I think that not giving up is like the number one key to creating the life that that we truly deserve especially in the moments when you have a million reasons to give up when you have all of the reasons in the world to give up and you don't that's where you create it that's where it happens for you all right what does capricorn need to know moving forward This, is, this has been a long time coming, though. Courage with the Two of Swords. What does Capricorn need to know moving forward? It's like, don't give up on your vision. Don't give up on your path. And I feel like you're kind of at a crossroads. I feel like I'm talking to a collective right now. It's like, 
are you gonna get like the universe is like are you gonna give up or are you gonna not give up uh, my advice is not to give up because wow i think that there's so much yeah okay all right seven of wands two of pentacles there's that eight of cups in reverse and then there's the king of swords i feel like you're okay hopelessness feeling hopeless um is in my opinion and f my opinion based on my experience a product of experiencing a lot of darkness um you know there there's darkness and there's light in this world and both have to exist and we have to experience both it, the, the extent to which you experience the darkness is the extent to which you will be able to experience the light um, both, you know, both have to exist. It's the dichotomy of life. Um, but no matter how much darkness you've experienced in your life, you still have a choice to believe in the light. No matter how much heartbreak and fear and suffering, you still have a, a chance. You still have a choice to be able to believe in abundance and love and faith and support the support of the universe. Like you you literally are at this point in your life, Capricorn, where you have, it's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to decide? Um, and, and I feel like this is, you know, kind of that point in a journey where most people give up. Most people give up on themselves, the path. The, and I'm not going to tell you, like, I, I'm sure you have all of the reason to give up. But the universe is saying, seriously, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on the path because it is going to pay off. Because here's the three of pentacles. Pieces start falling into place. And then you got the two of pentacles there. It's like prioritizing the, you know, the, uh, like prioritize, because the seven of wands to me is like determination, grit, um, you know, not giving up, trusting yourself, trusting the process. Um, I, I didn't really explain how I got those messages. I, I have a lot of people pick pick those apart sometimes, but like the King of Swords with the, the Eight of Cups in reverse, like this can be adopting the mindset of hopelessness, like kind of allowing it to take over, allowing it to, allowing yourself to like succumb to it, which is really easy to do. Um, but then you have this choice to prioritize here, the light, to prioritize courage, to prioritize not, you know, giving up on yourself, having the courage to believe um, that there is more, that there is better, that there is possibility. All right, what else does Capricorn need to know moving forward? If I don't specifically like read out each card, it's not that I'm not taking that card in account to the message. It's just that like collectively all the cards present a message. Okay, what does, oh, ten, freaking ten of pentacles, but look, it's on the other side of the darkness. The moon, it's like all of this is leading you to your Ten of Pentacles. You know, I, I went through this period of my life. It, it was about a, a three-year period, um, which I know in hindsight, like that's not very long, but it felt like a million years when I was in the middle of it um, of just absolute horrible experiences. I was not good like during that period um, of my life, and it was, it was really hard to... Um, and in fact, there were many times on that during that period of my life where I did completely lose my faith um, and acted on that loss of faith in a lot of ways. Um, and I don't regret that because I think that that whole period had to happen. My actions had to happen. But um, eventually the universe kind of grabbed, grabbed a hold of me and, and shook me and was like, like d get out of this basically it was like you're you need to get out of this and I did day by day step by step I did and on the other side of that darkness was a life that I get to live now that is better than I literally even imagined life could be um and and I that is why I will I have this conviction in saying some of the worst days of your life some of the hardest things you've been through some of the worst things that have happened to you you were never deserving of them that was not fair to you and i'm nor am i saying like you should be grateful for those experiences but sometimes those can actually lead you to some of the best days of your life to some of the best things you can ever experience and the only thing that can get you from there to there is not giving Again, even when you have all of the reason to, even when it seems like the only option, like don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your path. Don't give up on where you're at. Don't give up on where you're going. Like don't give up. 
And then I feel like, because look, Ten of Pentacles, right? Not giving up leads to the Ten of Pentacles. It's like it's so much, this culmination of vision. It's like everything comes together and it has been a long time coming. And why did that come out again? It's in reverse, the moon in reverse. Hang on. I feel like I need to clarify this. This is like on the other side of this darkness, on the other side of fear. The other side of this is what? The magician? Oh my gosh. The magician with the six of pentacles. Rewards. <laughs> like seriously, it's like the manifestation um, of this vision. The piece is falling into place, receiving what it is that you want, like literally on the other side of this. So whatever you're waiting through right now, um, be in it. You know, I think that sometimes we want to get to the other side, but the only way through it is through it. Be in it experience it, feel it, got to feel it to heal it, but no, it's not going to last forever and it will be worth it in the end. You will make it through this Capricorn and it will be better than you even imagine it being. So yes, this is hard and yes, you're going through a lot and yes, it isn't fair, but it doesn't mean that you can't transmute it into really wonderful, very positive, very abundant things as you move forward because I think that um, that is what the universe has intended. There is this culmination of vision. It's like it, it, this is a lot. This has been a long time coming for you. Um, not the the pain or the bad that you you feel you're experiencing right now. I'm talking about the good that exists in um, on the other side of this. So have the courage to believe that there's more, that there's better, that there's good on the other side of all that you've been through. And remember, one of the most beautiful, wonderful things about being a human is that you have the ability to do that. All right. This got freaking deep. Record. <laughs> Thank you so much, as always, for your support of my channel. I'm going to hop on over to the extended. This is what you can do right now to ensure you're moving forward in alignment with your higher self. Um, really just kind of diving in a little bit deeper and then providing like kind of tangible things that you can do to work through this period. Um, thank you so much, Capricorn, again. And I wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing and all of the wonderful things that you deserve on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Capricorn.